Hello and welcome back to Skill Code. Tired of the repetitive tasks? Free your time and supercharge your productivity with ChatGPT Plus and Zapier. In this video, we'll unlock the secrets to automating your workflow. And believe me, there's no coding required. Get ready to research, save them in Google Docs, and send it out to the email. You can also respond to your emails in a flash, and you can automate countless other tasks. Let ChatGPT Plus and Zapier do the heavy lifting so you can focus on what matters most. So let's start the process of automating your life today. So without further ado, I'll just start this video. I'll actually break down this video in a step-by-step -step process so you know that where we are and what we have to actually perform. So this is a guide from Zapier. First things first, what you need to do, you just need to create an account on Zapier. So here is the page you can see right over here. You can simply click on this thing like try for free and you will be all set up and good to go. So I'll simply continue with my Google account because it's the most convenient way to like uh, sign up. I will just provide in with my password and just click on confirm, okay? So now you can just quickly set up your account and just click on continue and you will be all set up, okay? You can just skip these, okay? So it's not a big deal. We can set them up later, okay? So your account has successfully been created. So all right, to use these services, you have to either create a new GPT or you can edit an existing one that's created by you, okay? So I have a complete video on like how to create your own custom GPT. You can check that out if you have like any issue in creating GPTs, okay? What you need to do is just simply need to click on this explore tab. So this was the GPT which was created in the last video, Innovations Insider. You can simply edit this GPT like like go to the configure tab and at the end there are like actions so here we will be performing our actions but you can quickly create a new gpt as well but i will be using this innovations insider gpt so i'll click on edit things then the next step is that you need to go to the configure tab and in the configure tab at the end you need to click on like actions Okay, so here you can see that I have the option like import from URL and there are examples as well. You can enter your schema like the coding stuff or something like that. And there is the authentication part as well. If you want to add authentication, you can do that as well. And there's the privacy policy. Suppose if you want to make uh, this Innovations Insider public in the future, then you need to add the privacy policy that could be something that's coming from your website, okay? If we just move on to the examples, you can see that it can get the weather data, pet store, or it could be a blank template as well. If I click on like weather, you can see that it's uh, automatically populated here. You can see this is the JSON. So yeah, that's uh, really a cool thing. So for now, I'll simply delete this right here. Okay. All right. So the next step is that we need to actually import the URL, but Zapier is actually providing us. So this is actually the official guide from the Zapier, like how you can connect the GPTs. Okay. We need to copy this URL and we will simply click on import from URL and paste it in right here, okay? I'll click on import and it will populate all the data you can see right over here, okay? We don't need to change anything here, okay? If we just scroll down, so you can see that we have like available actions. So we can actually get something from like the Zapier and we could also post it, okay? So this would be for like running the action and this would be for like the listing available actions. And we also have the authentication and that would happen when we will try to actually connect to the Zapier, okay? All right, so now I'll simply click on update and it would be available to only me, okay? I'm just doing it because if I just move on to like previous step, so it's actually saved for me. So the next step is that you need to create Zapier actions. So for that, what you need to do, you just simply need to copy this URL actions.zapier.com forward slash gpt forward slash actions i'll provide this url in the description as well okay so it will take you to this interface like add your first gpt action okay click on add new action so now here what you can do you can search 
like for thousands of apps and actions, like on send direct message, Gmail, create a draft, like Google Sheets, you could create spreadsheet, and there are like a lot of things which you can do with like Zapier and OpenAI's GPT-4. So here I will actually create two actions, one with Google Docs and the other one with like Gmail, okay? So I will type in like Google uh, Docs probably, okay? So here you can see that you can find a bunch of actions with the app. Like you could upload a document, you can find a document, you could create a document from template and from text as well. You could append text to an existing document. Like there are a lot of things you can do with this. So I would simply click on like create document from text. So here what you need to do, if you need to connect a new Google Docs account, click on this button so it would open up a new window for you. So I could simply say yes, connect to the Google Docs. So I'll choose an account to simply connect it, okay? And then I'll click on allow. So this will allow Zapier to actually get access to your Google account. And believe me, it's like it's really safe and there's nothing you need to worry about. And if you want to connect more accounts, you can do with like clicking on this manage account, then you can actually switch between them. So for the document name, you just have like two options. Have AI to guess a value for this field or set a specific value for this field. I'll choose a second option. So here I can enter the name what I want to like name my document. Suppose that I'm creating this document for the scripting purpose of my YouTube videos. So I'll say it like YouTube uh, script research, for instance, okay? That would be great, okay? For the document content, that must be like have AI guess a value for this field because we will populate it with a text that GPT will be providing us. So now you can actually click on like show all options. So for the folders, you could actually have AI guess the value for this field or you could use the default root folder of your Google Docs or you could set a specific value for this field uh, like uh, you could choose a folder as well, okay? So it's loading the folders inside of like uh, the uh, Google Docs. So I actually will send it to like YouTube folder, okay? That's more convenient for me for now. And if you don't have any folder, you could simply go to your Google Drive and create a new folder. And then you can actually choose that from here. This is the action name. So in my opinion, this is the most critical part because this is the exact thing which we will be providing to our like GPT to know which action we are going to perform. So I will say like create a document in docs for instance, okay? And you need to copy the exact thing into your GPT. So make sure that name it appropriately. So our first action is done here. You just simply need to click on like enable action. So it would be done for you, okay? So you could see that your action is now available here. So that's really a great thing. I want to just create one more action here, okay, for like sending the uh, email, okay, so because I want to automate like two things at the same time, like creating the documents from the text and then sending them via email. So I want to pretty much accomplish that thing, okay? So here I would search for like Gmail and I'll click on like this thing, which is like send email, okay? I want to like connect a new Gmail account. Yeah, yes, continue to Gmail. You need to give the access of your Gmail to like a uh, Zapier. Okay, and it's safe, don't worry about that. Now you can populate these fields. I will actually set up the specific value for like, uh, to the person I'm sending this email. So I'll provide the support email for my company. And for subject, actually, you could also have AI to guess a value for this field. But I want to be more specific here as well. I could say like, uh, hey, suppose research is ready. Okay. And for body, you must like choose this option, like have AI guess a value for this field. And for more options, like you have like BCC from, okay, here you could actually choose your own email address. Yeah, here. Yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, subject is already there from name. I don't want to include that. Reply to do not include a value. Okay, that's fine. Body type would be like plain signature. Do not include a value for this in field. If you want to actually change these options, you could do so. But for now, that's good to go. Okay, this one is important. I would say like send email to team, for instance. Okay, now I just need to click on enable action and you are good to go. You can see right over here that we have two actions up and running. So now the next step is that we need to go back to our GPT to set up our instructions. Okay, so here I am on the GPT. So I want to simply go 
back okay and inside the configure tab i want to add the instructions right here make sure that do not mess up with these instructions on what your gpt is built on okay you need to have these instructions and below these instructions you have to provide zapier instructions as well okay so if you go on to like the official thing of like this zapier which we were actually seeing previously as well so here are the rules i just simply need to grab these and if i just go back here I need to paste them right here okay so now this is the most important part uh, if you want to set it up right and make sure that everything's running perfectly okay so we need to change these two things okay like this one is action one and this one is action two so it has two things first the like action which is like the action name then the configuration link okay so i will tell you how to actually uh, populate these fields so i'll get rid of this thing confirmation link as well okay and i will do like uh, for this thing as well if you don't have like the second action so you can get rid of like this whole thing uh, for action what you need to do for example go to the first action and then go to show all options and this is the action name okay i need to simply paste it here and for the url or confirmation link so this is our confirmation link which is actually on the top so i will simply paste it right here okay and we need to do same for like the second action as well grab link and name and paste it there okay this is the part which has to be done perfectly to like make it up and running okay i'll simply click on close and you can see that there are unpublished changes so i'll click on update for only me and then confirm all right so you can see that i have like published this i can now actually uh, test this thing out okay uh, let's go to create so i actually am creating this thing like a uh, youtube script so that i have some text to play around okay to show you like how this thing like the automation stuff will work all right so my script is ready you can see right over here okay so now what i need to do i'll simply say like uh, uh, copy it to google docs for instance okay so i'm not telling it like hey use zapier or stuff so i think it should know like what to do here so it's saying like starting an action okay yeah you can see that now it's saying like sign in with actions.zapier.com so i'll click here so you see that it's saying like allow i'll simply click on allow button okay yeah it says like you have successfully signed in via oauth okay this would happen only the first time you're doing this this is the authentication part which was actually necessary to do okay so yeah the authentication was done i guess let me just go back to like actions.zapier.com okay and inside the authentication part now there must be like oauth okay so that's a good sign and now let me just give it a prompt like suppose create a hundred word article on gen ai for instance okay all right here is my hundred word article on gen ai i actually generated this text because i would have something to play with okay so now i'll say like copy this text to google docs so you see that it's starting the action it should have known that uh, it has to work with zapier okay because we have configured it in that way yeah i'll simply confirm this thing okay so yeah this is the common issue which you get uh, like it says that it encountered an issue while trying to create like google docs so you should like actually refresh your actions okay so i'll do that and come back here and i'll say i have done it okay so let me just send it once again so yeah it's starting the action once again yeah i need to confirm this yeah i don't know why it's saying like uh, due to a technical issue it's like failing to actually complete this thing okay let me just once uh, check in the folder it's actually strange you can see right over here if i just open up my youtube folder where i configured everything if you go to like the zapier's action inside of create docs you see that i have chosen this youtube folder and the name of the document as youtube script research it says like due to a technical issue it failed to complete this step but when i go to my docs over here you can see that it just created uh, a youtube research script if i just open this thing 
Now you can see that it's actually the same text which is here like the rise of Gen AI, a game changer in technology and it's uh, ending all like where AI's creativity complements human ingenuity, okay? Like here. I don't know why it's saying like it's failing to do so, where it's actually creating a document in Google Drive. I think it's the issue from Zapier and uh, I have written to Zapier about this issue. Let's see when they resolve this issue. For the email part, let me just say like uh, email this text to my team for instance. So yeah, it's starting the action you can see right over here. Yeah, I'll need to confirm. Stop talking. Yeah, it says like the email has successfully sent to your team. Okay. At least the email part is working as it should. If I just open up my account because I have access to that. Let's see whether I got the email or not. Okay. Like this is the email, the rise of generative AI, like the same text. Okay. So you can see right over here. Okay. This is the email, but there is no signature. So if I just go back into the send email to team one and if I just scroll down so here you can see that I have other options as well if I move on to the signature so you could add like the option of signature as well if you have a signature specified inside of your email account you can choose that otherwise you can have AI to guess the value or if you want to do it without the signature you can do that as well okay so your signature will populate somewhere here so I think you got the idea and point like how to like automate your stuff with the help of Zapier and GPT-4. Wow, you are now a master of automation. Remember, the possibilities are actually endless with ChatGPT Plus and Zapier. So get creative, automate your life and achieve more. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI related stuff. And let me know in the comments what tasks you have automated using this powerful duo. Okay, see you next time. Till then, have a good day. Bye.